Hello YouTube and welcome back to a Loot Crate video. I am so sorry that this one is actually behind. My Loot Crate actually came uh, the day that I left for PAX. So I brought it with me to PAX thinking that I was going to have some help opening it and maybe have some people go through the Loot Crate with me. And uh, I was working the whole time and worked in the Twitch booth as some of you guys know I'm a Twitch employee. So I was organizing the meet and greets and was really busy actually doing that so I didn't have time to do that so I'm doing it now as you can hear my voice is kind of demolished yesterday actually was way worse so yesterday was Monday today is Tuesday so this video is going up on Wednesday yesterday actually my voice was so bad I really wanted to record this last night but I couldn't even get certain like pitches to register in my voice so I took all of today off. I didn't stream. I didn't like record any videos. Um, so I was trying to get my voice as back to normal as I could, but it still sounds very deep and sultry. So uh, yeah, I haven't really been doing much. No makeup. Not really. I don't have like the. I don't have like Pax Pox or I don't have like Con Flu or anything because I don't feel horrible. I'm just kind of tired and my voice is gone. So I think the tired from not sleeping because I got to hang out with all my Minecraft guys uh, for, for that whole weekend, which is the first time I've ever I've ever really gotten to like hang out with them and do like bonding, you know, sibling type things like play card games and really hang out with the group. I got to hang out with Vintage Beef a lot, which was like super exciting because I've never really gotten to meet him. Anyway, I'm going into rant. Loot Crate, let's get into it. So, this month's theme is like a kickback to like retro video games, which I'm really excited about. Wes Wilson kind of spoiled one of the things that was in the box. So, I knew one thing. Oh my god, it's a Nintendo. I don't, I don't want to give away too much, but check that out. It's a Nintendo. Uh, but he did spoil one of the things that was in here. And that's part of the reason why I had to record it now and I didn't want to wait until my voice was fully back because I kept seeing things on Twitter and people like posting pictures of their shirts and I was like I'm gonna the whole crate's gonna be ruined by the time I get to open it so I figured I would be opening it now so I do know uh, that and it's actually this he said they had a party at uh, at uh, pack south and they were giving these out and he was like I needed one more and I was like oh where'd you get the first one he was like in my loot crate and I was like oh well, you could have just had mine because you just ruined it uh, so the first thing that's in here uh, is from blacktiegeek.com I wonder if they've got girl stuff wouldn't that be cool it's a check this out it's a skinny space invaders tie isn't that cool it's very silky it's super silky. I don't, I won't wear this because I don't wear ties. Unless I like strapped it around my head or something. Oh no. Oh yes. Yeah. I could like wear it, you know, like a, like a ninja. Th I don't think that's how you're supposed to do it. I'm pretty sure that's not how you're supposed to do it. But yeah, so that's pretty cool. So I know that he wanted that. But now you can't have it, Wes, because you ruined it. You ruined, you ruined the surprise. Uh, but it did come in this really kind of nifty box. I bet it's probably only ties because it's called black tie and not black tie is informal. But they should branch out into women's merchandise. I would totally buy uh, geeky dresses. Uh, what else? Okay. This says, um, so analog tendo. What is this? Retro inspired products. It says rip on the back. There you go. So analog. Loot crate exclusive. Let's open it up. It kind of looks like a chocolate bar. What is it? Caution, do not lose multi-pass. Do not choke. Do not kiss without permission. I think it just is a cartridge. I'm pretty sure it's just like a cartridge because there's... Oh god, there's like... Oh, oh no, it's a figurine. Oh, I got it. I got it. It has like eyeballs. Okay. Oh, let's put it together. It's like a figurine. He's got shoes and hands and a gun and a Nintendo gun. I actually have leggings from Pop Rages that have these Nintendo, like a Nintendo and that has a little gun on it. And I get compliments on them all the time. I, uh, I wore them in the airport on the way to Pack South, and I had like TSA stopping me, telling me that they liked my leggings. I had like 
people on my plane being like, you're clearly going to PAX South. I'm like, yes. Yes, I am. Um, oh, that's cool. Okay, here, let's put the gun in his hand. Come on, little guy. There we go. Check that out. That's so cute. He's got a little pew pew. Pew pew. That's cute. Oh, we're gonna put you right here, little buddy. That's adorable. Um, this month also came with a t-shirt. And this t-shirt is a Transformer. This is like the second Transformer shirt that we got because we also got the Transformer that was like from the 80s one where it was um, the Back to the Future throwback uh, that had the Transformer on it. So now I've got tons of Transformer t-shirts. I am Optimus Prime. I'm not Optimus Prime, but I... We'll have a shirt in case they ever come out with more Transformer movies. All right, what is this? Comic notebook, 64 pages of never before seen action and adventure. It's a pocket notebook. Oh, it's one of those um, kind of like a moleskin book, but it's comic book. I love having these things on planes, like because I'm a doodler, like for meetings and stuff. If I'm in a meeting, I'll be uh, doodling. Oh, that's really cool. So you can, uh, it has like little spaces for you to like write comics in there. That's pretty cool. I should start chronicling my adventures. Oh, and it comes with like a little uh, a little thing. I should keep this in my backpack and every time I travel, I should like do one page for like every trip that I go on. That'd be pretty cool. That's actually pretty neat. I like that a lot. Some people aren't like super into writing and drawing, but I am, so that's good. And then we have our pin, Loot Crate Rewind. Let's see if I can get you to zoom on it. Camera, let's be friends. Can you be friends? Can we be friends? Why can't we be friends? There we go, rewind. Wonderful. So there's the pin for this time, which is the theme. Um, and then we have these wonderful sunglasses. I actually have, are they down here? I have a white pair of these. They're white, solid, oh yeah. Oh yeah. But you know what's really funny is because my Ninja Turtle glasses that I got in the last Loot Crate were orange. So I have like an orange thing going on. It's wonderful. So I have some 8-bit sunglasses. I'm so cool right now. They kind of look like pumpkins. I can wear them for Halloween. I'm so trendy right now. You guys don't even know. Um, so it came with those. Uh, and then... It also came with, I tweeted about this earlier. How freaking cool is this? So Loot Crate's been doing a lot of Loot Crate exclusives. Um, so like this was a Loot Crate exclusive, this item right here. But they also, I don't want to open it. Um, they're rebooting like these Star Wars comics. See, look, it has like Harrison Ford and Chewbacca on the front. Han Solo. Uh, and it's a Loot Crate exclusive. You can see the crates here on the front. Uh, they're actually Loot Crates. They say Loot Crate on them. And I've kept all my comics from all the different Loot Crates because uh, I think every one has like a Loot Crate exclusive cover on it. So I um, have been keeping these, which is really cool. They're doing a lot of Loot Crate exclusive stuff. And I will, like disclaimer, I am not being paid to say this. I am actually saying this uh, because I believe it. I got sent a different um, kind of crate, and I think I mentioned it in the last video. Uh, I got sent a different type of crate. It was a similar kind of like geeky monthly subscription crate. Um, but A, the theme, there was no theme. It was just kind of like random, like here's like some geeky stuff kind of thrown in the box. But every month I feel like Loot Crate kind of sticks to this theme and they do a really good job and they do a really good job of sticking exclusive stuff in here. So um, I wouldn't go buy another box I would stick with a Loot Crate because now that I've actually, that other one was gifted to me, and now that I've like seen it in comparison, like I really do think that the Loot Crates are the better, I guess, value or brand for what you're getting. I think they're like $13.37 a month plus shipping and handling. So like in this month I got the comic, I got um, the t-shirt, I got the tie. Like that in itself is worth the $13.37. Um, but I mean the t-shirts alone like you how much do you pay for a t-shirt like on jinx or something so um, T-shirts and then you get like some of the other stuff in here, too, which is really cool. So um, That is this month's loot crate and then it came with the kind of Nintendo -y box thing so We 
yeah so I mean overall I think it it is was a great month I am looking forward to next month's theme I hope that they do um, I hope that this this kind of year maybe for Valentine's Day next month or maybe for something else I hope that they do um, like a super girls loot crate maybe it'll be like a special one-off loot crate or something because I would really love to have like I mean you could have codex from the guild you could have like stuff you could have codex you could have like Wonder Woman you could have Poison Ivy you could have Harley Quinn like there's so many awesome girls kind of in uh, the nerd geekdom culture Princess Leia like I think it'd be really cool to have uh, a crate um, for that maybe it would be one-off because like we get ties and like we've had ties and bow ties and stuff which is great, but like I won't wear a tie or a bow tie. So I would like maybe just once loot crate, please. Do a girl's crate. That would be awesome. That would be I would be so stoked for that. So thank you guys so much for watching. It was a really quick loot crate this uh, this time, but my voice isn't feeling too well. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all in game soon. Bye!